You create a site to show your work in uh, digital arts and to do that you're going to begin by logging on to Gmail using your Berkeley Unified logon and uh, at the top you will see the choice uh, choices here of things to do uh, and we're gonna go to sites today because we're making a site when you get here we want to press create and uh, we're not going to do much here we're just going to put a name the name is not too important because it doesn't show on your site uh, we, we turn it off later so I'm just going to type in no caps it's not necessary uh, Lynn's site maybe underscore no spaces uh, in computer names and just ignore everything else we're not going to do that for now uh, press create mine is taking a minute this is what you'll see next and uh, we don't have anything in here so it's pretty blank and Lynn's site shows up here which is not where I want it to show and I'm going to make some changes in the way it looks right now. I do that by uh, choosing under more manage site. And I really only want to do two things here. I'm going to uncheck Lynn's site. Now it will no longer show. And I also want to choose a theme for my site. Uh, well, okay, all right, so stay on it. You have to save first because I did make a change and then I'm going to choose themes and You can choose whatever you like I'm going to choose slate because it's one that I use a lot and um, and then just press save always save and then back to your site Okay, this is what my site looks like now, and I want to add a new page. My new page is going to be called Photography. That's the first unit that we're working on, and you will have a new page for every unit. Um, under a selected template to use, I'd like you to choose Announcements. That will make your web page into a blog, and each time you have a new assignment, you'll just make a new post. And then here, select a location, put it under Home, and press Create. When we come back, now photography is indented under Home, and indenting means it's under Home. And here's my first web page called Photography. Uh, I'm going to make a new post. This will be for the first field day, which is what we did last week. Okay, so under this, I need to give this a title. And I want to call this one Basic, basic Shots, and then Field day one. It's our first field day. And then this one, let's give it a few little sentences at the top to explain what we're going to see. You don't have to write this, you can write something different here, whatever you want to do. Um, so, uh, and 
then here I'm just simply going to put these in. So we had um, rule of thirds, our subject out of the center, they're the same thing. Uh, we had get closer, Dutch angle, and then we had several for perspective. One was bird's eye, and the uh, the other was uh, worm side. Now um, you do need to organize your photographs on a web page. It's not. It doesn't really. Uh, it works very differently than uh, a lot of other pieces of software that you'll use. And the way that you do that is you use a table. We're going to have five photographs. And I think the way I'd like to lay it out is to maybe have three on one row and two on the other. Okay, so you just pull down table to insert table and then you can choose uh, the configuration there and the number of photographs. Okay, so now I need to insert my images. You can't drag and drop them in here. You actually have to press insert. Uh, and pull down to image. Uh, then we're going to upload the file and uh, these are on my desktop and I call them basic shots. So the first one that I want is rule of thirds. Now you're going to use your own photographs. I'm using photographs that were in my photography sh uh, show for you. Uh, and but, but you're going to use your own. So I would take this one down to maybe small. Later on, if people want to, they can click on it and it'll expand to a larger shot. And then here, insert image. And uh, so you just keep going and you're going to add a minimum of five. You can have more than one if you like. For, for the each each composition. I'm just going to do two like that. So um, you'll keep on to get them all in. And um, kind of hard to line those up, but you can do it. And then here, make it small. Okay, so when you get all of your photographs up, uh, you need to press save. And um, that will be your first web page. Okay, so there they are. If I come back to home, I can't really see th anything. If I come to photography, I have uh, the basic shots field day one. My new post will go on top of it. Okay, so that's what you need to do and please have fun and get started.